Eva Salazzo, and I am the founder of the Gratitude Experiment. And I have with me one of my students, Jenny Smith, who is from the UK and who has been a Thai massage therapist and now is involved in doing a little bit of energy healing. And I'm so thrilled to have you. Hi, Jenny, how are you? Hello, I'm very well, thank you. Jenny, we'll probably have a lot of people watching this video. So I just wanna ask you, how did you find out about the gratitude experiment? Well, I found out about it through uh, being a member of the Dr. Joe Dispenza um, group. And somehow an, an email came through from you asking if, you'd, uh, if I'd been interested in joining an experiment for gratitude. And I think that was in the December um, I was too late to get into that one, but uh, thankfully I was uh, enrolled in the January one. So I've been doing it for three months now mm -hmm. and uh, it's become a way of life. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you. And Jenny, what was happening in your life at that point that prompted you to, you know, entertain spending 28 days, five minutes a day learning about gratitude? Oh, well, at that time, I was coming to the end of a three and a half year court battle with my sister. Mm. And I have had lots of ups and downs over the last three and a half years with it. It's finally finished in February. Um, I lost my husband eight months after my mum. So he died in April 2017 and my mum died in the August before that, August 16. So I've been finding my way as a single person now after 42 years of marriage. Um, there was a big hole in my life. Um, he had a, a, a diagnosis uh, of pancreatic cancer and died literally five weeks later. So it was very quick. It was a big shock. Um, and yeah, I've, I'm, I'm a quite an optimistic person and I've been filling my time and I started meditating and getting into that sort of thing. I've always been interested in spiritual things. Um, and so one thing led to another. Would you say that you uh, went into the FMTG course seeking, you know, maybe more peace for your life? You know, what were you, what was the driving force, or what was just, the thing that has made the most impact in your life from you know when you walked into the course to when you walked out? You know, what are the most significant things that you have noticed in your life because of the FMTG? Because of the FMTG, I I would say that I'm a lot calmer. I am a lot more forgiving. Forgiveness has been a big thing um, for me. I've found a lot of peace. Um, I feel I'm able to help people and I want to help people. Um, and I don't know. It, 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 I'm just evolving. I've, I've always said I'm open to what's coming my way. And I think the gratitude experiment just dropped into my lap at the right time. And it's, it's certainly helped me a lot. And I, I just like to help back to people. Beautiful. Oh, oh, I lost you there for a second. Yeah. Sorry. Somebody's okay. trying to contact me. Another friend. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting a bit of advice, probably. <laughs> oh, oh no! Again. Sorry. Anyway, no, there you are. It's okay. Um, yes, I mean, there's so many aspects to the FMTG, and even the third time around, you'd think you know it, but actually, every morning, something pops up that I leave when I least expect it, and. Um, I'm either in tears or, you know, I go through a whole gamut of emotions. It's, it's quite uncanny. Um, 
we did the inner child this week yes, and last great. oh that was lovely but last time uh, I, I was a little bit sad with it this time oh she was sitting on the bench outside the house here with her legs swinging and <laughs> we sat together and I held her hand and it was lovely I you know and I was quite proud of myself afterwards because it just comes down it just shows itself how how it's going to be um yeah. and that's that's what's nice you, you and, and thoughts come into your head with different topics and and i think what's I really important sorry i was just going to say okay. that you know the fmtg is designed to to really have you look at every layer of your life and to mm -hmm. teach you slowly at the beginning on just the mechanics of what it's like to wake up in the morning for five minutes and just being grateful for things yeah. in your immediate surrounding and then it takes you to another level where you have to be grateful for nature to yes. you know for your work for you know your That's husband partner whatever it is but i mm -hmm. think that it is powerful work because a lot of our oh, students yeah. have said to me that you know by week three you know they are having to really relook at every trauma in their life and bring it to the surface and acknowledge it so that they can finally heal it. Did you find that it was true for you? Definitely, yes. I mean, it, it is clever because I think the more you can write about what's coming up for you, that's almost a healing in itself. And then you get the other people who comment and it encourages you um, and you see other people have been in a similar situation and there's a unity, you know, you call it community, but actually it's a common unity. And I love that expression because it, it does describe how it is. Um, and yes, we've got so many layers to us. and. There's always something wanting to come up <laughs> and out, mm -hmm, and it's it's healthy. It's a safe space to be in. It's um, well, I, I I now FaceTime people all over the world, mm -hmm. and it, it's lovely. It really is. And you're going to do a Zoom yes, chat, with, yeah. which I'm looking forward to. Is that Saturday? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So um, it's great that we can do that. And if someone was watching this right now and they were just thinking or they're not familiar with, you know, the gratitude experiment FMTG, what would you tell them? Well, I would say give it a go. Um, there's n no harm will come to you. It's entirely up to you how much you give to it. But if you can stay in your bed for five minutes in the morning before you do anything and just give thanks it it will change your life because your days will be happier you'll be calmer you'll see things through different eyes and the world becomes a lovely place and you'll attract things which you didn't think would be possible i mean it certainly happened for me I'm still waiting for Mr. Wright to come into my life. I Long think way. I might that now. <laughs> After three years, um, I couldn't imagine it to start with, but now I think, yeah, I, I, I think I could. I could. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Jenny. And for anyone watching, if you want to find out about the next class, just visit walescalasso.com slash the gratitude experiment and i would be thrilled to have you in the next course take care